I do sound a little bit weird, it's because Jason, my friend, he gave me a cold, so I blame it on him. So, yeah, bear with me, guys. Hey guys, so today I've done a tutorial on this look. Unfortunately, I forgot to record the beginning saying hello, so hi. And I was, I would do it on my camera, but my camera's kind of dead, and so is the LED light. Oh my god, I need to get a new one. And like, I'm kind of in my pajamas now, so I promise the tutorial is on my good camera. So if you are interested in this fairy tale look, then keep on watching. So I've done this eye, and we're gonna do this eye now. So let's zoom in and get started. So starting with the Nikki tutorials power of makeup palette I don't think I did this when I first did this look but I decided it needed a bit of you know I, I don't even think you can tell but whatever we're gonna do it anyway because we don't want it to look different I mixed the blush which is I will always love you and Ivy which is here at the top together to make my transition shade so it looks a bit like that and I know I'm gonna have to top up some more of the blush which is I will always love you because it's gonna be too pale but let's get started anyway. So just mixing that in. Till I am satisfied and add I Will Always Love You blush, which is the orange brush, blush, uh, if it looks too pale. So for the next color, I'm using Guam Bam, which is this color right here. And it is a beautiful purple. I love purple, purple's my favorite color, yes. And then on top of that, to give it more of a shimmery, like, you know, what, like a whitish glow. I don't know what to call it. I just added Sugar Coated, which is this colour right here. And it's just a beautiful shimmery pink. It just makes it shimmer more. Like a fairy. And if it's looking too pale, you can just add some more Wham Bam, which I did with this eye. So I'm just going to add some more down here below. you're pretty much done for now with the palette now we're going to cut the crease so to make the cut crease I am using the Kat Von D concealer in a color I believe this is 29 so yeah let's do that so just add the two blobs one two one, one two three and then you just rub that in rude and then you open your eye just so the crease can come up a bit higher and it'll be more visible if you follow my I don't know what to call my lips I'm not very like, I don't know what to call it <laughs> I have my eyes I have, I have my, my lid my lid like it folds it in not too much but you can't notice when I do cut crease on this I bring it a bit higher so you know friends and family were messaging and calling me and then I like answered my sister because she's all the way in Canada and she was like up to messaging me asking if mum was okay I didn't understand why and then I totally forgot for a second that there was a terrorist attack at Big Ben today so she was like proper worried she was at work and cool thing and that's why she called oh crap that's why she called and that's why everyone's been calling me so I feel so bad I really need to give them a call to say I'm a-okay and that mum's a-okay so once you're content with that you're gonna top it off with painkiller and ivy but mostly painkiller focus on painkiller and yeah you're just gonna put it on top so I use this gun metal brush just adding painkiller first top it off with ivy voila now for the fun part the glitter so I was suffering because I had bought some glitters but I didn't have glue for it and it's so hard to find glue in the like the UK I'm gonna say the UK because I looked online I didn't actually go out to shops they have no glitter glue I'm just like okay and then I go to other places no glitter glue Boots do have it but in connection with NYX and there's only one I believe there's only one NYX store in London and luckily I live close to it and I was able to get the NYX 
glitter primer and it is so good I was just using my eye primer to add the glitter and that was like a big fail like I thought it was bad but it wasn't that bad when I was doing it but now that I can see this with this what was I doing before what was I doing what was I doing? Why was you even watching that video with the glitter? Because it was a, just a big flop. It was a big fail. And now this baby has saved my life. And I love the packaging. Look how... Uh, if I could get this shimmer, this metallic look on my eye. Oh my god. What was I doing again? Instead of wasting so much, I'm just getting... Uh, I believe this is a liner brush. I will show you closely. It's very thin and small and you know... Look at it, it fits in the line of my palm. So I'm going to use this brush and I'm just going to squeeze it, squeeze the primer just so I can see it at the tip and that way I, I know it's there, it's like fully there and I'm going to dip the brush into the primer instead of wasting all this primer because there's just no point. And I'm going to line where I did my crease. You get the primer everywhere, the glitter is going to stick to wherever it is. So I'm just going over the where I put glue so it sticks properly, just in case it's dried up already. Now for the actual glitter. So of course I said I was sticking to the Power of Makeup collection that they, they sold. And I'm using the Too Faced glitter. This is called glitter. Oh, glitter, glitter, glitterly. This is called glitterly. God, that's too much of a tongue twister, Nikki. But I like the name. I do like it. This is the beautiful glitter. Oh my God, my nails are embarrassment. And again, I'm just gonna dip the brush in and apply the same way I added the glue. And now that that's done, I'm going to use the Maybelline Master Ink Eyeliner in the colour Black Matte. And finally, I'm using some GWA lashes. These lashes are called Goddess. Just adding the same old mascara. The Telescopic L'Oreal Mascara. There you go. Adding some lash glue. underneath my waterline going back to the Nikki tutorials palette I am using painkiller makeup and chill and wham bam never be loud again Jesus Christ so first applying painkiller which is actually not really visible on my skin tone now for makeup and chill Finally, one bam. And for the inner corner of my eye, I am using Frosted Yum, which is this color right here. So, using about that amount. And for the bottom lashes, also from the Power of Makeup Nikki Tutorials collection, Better Than Sex Mascara in the color purple, a very vibrant purple. Look at that bad boy. So I've applied foundation already. I used the Dior Skin Air Flash Foundation. Not sure if it's looking that great today, but you know, it's kind of finishing, so I have to make do with what I have. So for concealer, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Locket Concealer in the color 29, as I usually do. So just apply that quickly. Blend it in using this brush. I bake I like to do my nose first so I can blend it in properly today I think I'm only going to use powders why not use the liquid tutorial palette so I'm going to use the bronzer which is called chocolate soleil to control my nose so using this brush right here this is from the GWA fairy tale collection what a coincidence This 
toothbrush to blend it in. Also from the Fairy Tales collection. And while I'm at it, I might as well just put the cont like contour my face as well. Using the Delicate Tutorials Power of Makeup collection. Palette, more like. to bake just gonna make sure there's no creases in my eye because lately I've been creasing like a bush I don't know why and you know I'm using the Ben Eye banana powder beautiful so now that I've baked just gonna give it a bit of time and using this brush right here I'm going to dust away the bake You are looking dusty AF as me don't worry because once you put on lipstick and you put on that setting spray guarantee you won't look very ashy like I do right now I think it's the top lip I have I have quite a small top lip but this just makes it look like <laughs> moving on highlight I'm going to go back to my favorite will always be my favorite the Anastasia Beverly Hills glow kit and I'm going to be using the colours Bronze and Moonstone. And again, using the brush from the Fairy Tales collection. Oh my god, please stop. Uh, course the lip. And for blush, I'm going to go back to the Nikki Tutorials palette and I'm going to use the colour Justify My Love. I'm going to be using this brush right here. I believe this is a powder brush, but I like to use it for my blush. From the GWA collection. Once you are sufficed with that, you can finally spray your face. It is well needed. And I am using the Makeup Revolution Pro Fix Oil Control Fixing Spray. <laughs> for lipstick, I was going to use the Kat Von D in... For lipstick, I was going to use the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the colour Lolita. But I think I want to try this lipstick, which is the Jeffree Star lipstick in Scorpio, just to see how it would look with this. If it does look bad, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go back to Lolita. So I just tried to do Scorpio and it just went working for me. So I cut it out, but you just you can't see that. So I'm going to use Lolita, the Kat Von D Lolita, and a brown lip pencil to outline my lips. This is the Barry M lip liner. Sorry guys, I just remembered when I went to go and see Kat Von D and some people on the street asked, oh who is she? I was like, oh, she does tattoos and makeup. And I said she does music as well. No, she don't. I don't know why I like had it in my head that she did. I think I dreamt of her being in a rock band. I had no idea why. <laughs> but something tells me she did music at one point. But yeah, I can just imagine like her big fans looking at me like, what the fuck? Oh well. And this is the finishing look. quirky like me then you can pull up this look for any occasion I used it when I went to go and see Nikki tutorials for this palette so <laughs> even though it's signed and I, I'll always say it I got it signed and I got a picture with her how you doing sorry I keep on looking at my glow <laughs> thanks for watching like and subscribe follow me on Instagram and snapchat Denise underscore OZ and stay classy